Hi, my name is Ken Wheels, and I've taken a different approach to documentary filmmaking in this film, which is entitled The Molten Clocks of Pompeii. I used to live in San Francisco, and in 1996, um, me and a group of friends went out to the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, which is basically 100 miles north of Reno. And for the first time, I went to the Burning Man Festival. Now, this was an incredible experience for me. The Burning Man Festival is basically a festival based around large-scale interactive art, performance, dance, music, and just a giant party, um, a blast. And I had never seen anything like this before, and it was just a, an incredible experience for me. So the idea for this documentary film just was kind of like, wow, this looks really cool. Wouldn't this look great on video? So that basic idea is what prompted me to go out and buy a camera. And at that time, you could go to one of the stores and buy like a $400 consumer grade compact VHS camcorder. Very archaic by today's standards, you know, low fidelity and the optics aren't, aren't all that great. But anyway, nonetheless, it was the thing that got me started in the very beginnings of this film. So this first chapter, which I call the Desert Dreamscape, is all shot on compact VHS from the years 1997 to 1999. Okay, now, the way that I approach this documentary film is that I, I take all the footage that I've shot in the past 18 years or what have you, and in this case, chapter one, I'm, I'm sort of grouping it all together in, in, an, in an area which is just sort of which I consider to be like very beautiful, very surreal, very colorful type of footage. So this chapter features the Futura Deluxe Bubble Fountain and Porta Temple by Stephen Raspa and Aaron Wolfbaum, Michael Christian's The Nebulous Entity, the Air Hug, which is also called The Brainwasher, which is The Fuzzy Tunnel by Anthony Bondi, yeah, so I take all this footage of all this artwork, and that essentially is my palette with my colors, if you will. And so with those colors, I'm sort of making this audio audiovisual painting. For me, it's kind of like my, my Monet or my Monet or my Van Gogh or my Picasso or my Salvador Dali. And so, yeah, all this artwork and this video footage is kind of like turned into this audio visual painting. Um, and, and that's essentially what I'm going for in this film is surrealism, impressionism, and everything is very psychedelic. So each chapter is going to have a different category, a different feel, a different soundtrack, and will feature different artists. Now, um, the soundtrack to this film is very important because I've created this soundtrack Everything I recorded from 1995 to about 2012 is in this soundtrack with only a few exceptions. I've added one DJ track from DJ Oa. And then in the Temple chapter, I used both Carl Orff and Richard Wagner. It just works that way. That's just the way that it worked out. So each chapter has its own musical landscape. And it's essentially a musical journey through the West Coast art scene 
based specifically in San Francisco, but all of the artists on the West Coast that go out to the Black Rock Desert and participate in the Burning Man Festival. Chapter One, The Desert Dreamscape.